What's up, everybody? It's me. I'm at work right now. It's kind of slow at the moment. So I figure I uh, have time to do a report on Stephanie McMahon, who as of today has resigned as co-CEO of WWE, World Wrestling Entertainment. Now everybody knows a couple days ago, her father, Vince McMahon, who was both the chairman and CEO of the company, returned it as one of the members of the board of directors. And everybody now knows as well that they're looking to sell WWE. So far, NBC may be one of the optional buyer if negotiations go well. Now, it was announced earlier that Vince's daughter, Stephanie, who, as you know, is uh, married to Triple H, Paul Levette, who currently is the head of creative for the company, she announced that she is stepping back as co-CEO. And we don't know if it's in protest or her father coming back into the light or whichever it was, but I have TMZ.com up right now. And uh, I'm going to read the statement that uh, she uh, put it out earlier today. She said, quote unquote, about eight months ago, I took a leave of absence and within a few weeks, unexpectedly had the opportunity of the lifetime. I had the privilege to return as co-CEO and chairwoman of the board of WWE. Now, Steph took over her father last July, as we all know, when her daddy, left the company, retired from the scene amidst all these sexual misconduct allegations, the hush-hush money scandal that was going on for the time being. Well, the board of directors, you know, finally closed the lid on that case while Vince was away. I know if they had any uh, input into Vince returning into his position as board of directors, but most likely it may have. She continues with her statement saying, quote, I cannot put into words how proud I am to have led what I consider to be the greatest company in the world, working alongside a remarkable leader sh- leadership team and one of the strongest executives I have known, meaning co-CEO Nick Khan, no relation to Tony Khan, who heads AEW. Now, Vince, according to the article here, appointed himself back on the board of directors this past Friday with the intent of negotiate an impending TV deal and explore a potential sale of the company. Now, Stephanie said that her father is taking the lead during an exciting time for the company as it explores strategic alternatives. And with Nick Khan and Triple H on board, she believes the WWE is in a great spot to keep pumping out great content and increase value for shareholders. WWE is such a, in a strong position that I decided to make my return, well, excuse me, decided to return to my leave and take it one step further with my official resignation. She also added that she would continue to support the company just as said she did when she was a little girl and she also remained dedicated to the WWE. She closed out by saying, I truly love our company, our employees, our superstars and our fans. And I am grateful for all our partners. Thank you for everything then, now, forever together. Now, Nick Khan, as of now, will be the sole CEO of WWE as of today. And what are your thoughts on this, everybody? I know everybody's thoughts on Vince returning was kind of like, because, you know, people were not really happy for with Vince's creative output for the past umpteen years. 
and some people have been given uh, Triple H a lot of props for his creative input within the storylines and stipulations and everything. Now, me, I've not watched WWE in God knows how long. I basically stopped watching it 2014 after viewing it, you know, The Shield when they were still together, you know, The Authority with uh, Stephanie and Triple H when that faction was running the muck within the company realms. But at the same time, I was like, who are these guys? I've never heard of these uh, cats. You know, it's just, you know, and it displeases me that it's now so lame. It's so uh, PG uh, era. It's just, it's so basic. I complained about it a few times in the past, saying that the promos, the dialogues that they now have are similar to uh, the cartoon series Super Friends. And I just stopped watching it protest. It's not the WWE I used to remember. But then again, me, an old school wrestling fan, you know, um, I would say that because I grew up with a lot of powerful promos, a lot of powerful action, a lot of powerful storylines, powerful on-screen feuds and all that. I mean, to me, one of the greatest feuds out there would have to be between the late Dusty Rhodes and the Nature Boy Ric Flair. Sadly, most of the heels and the feuds today are not what it used to be, you know. So let me know in the comments below what you think about this. In the meantime, I'm going to get back to work. I don't know what I'll be doing when I'm done tonight. And also a reminder, our music show with yours truly, Arknoia, YR, Keith, will be live tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern. We'll be taking a look at chart toppers from the 1950s. If I remember, that's what Art pitched to us last week. So definitely tune in, listen and learn as always there. In the meantime, subscribe to my channel, hit that like button and notification bell. Like I said, I could get back to work before he opened the door and catch me doing, filming this vlog and get myself in trouble there. You take care. Bye-bye.